Welcome to EduComics. EduComics is a European Union funded education project that is looking at how digital comics can be used in the classroom. There are two parts to this presentation. First of all, what resources are being made available to schools by the project? And secondly, we're going to look at the Comic Lab digital comic software that is being used within the project. EduComics have created a set of integrated resources for schools and this work has been based on two areas of research the existing usage of web comics in education and case studies and piloting that have been completed in schools across Europe. From our research a set of teacher training materials and case studies are available. Seminars have been conducted and an online community is available please see our website. On the next three slides we're going to look at the huge amount of resources that have been made available on the project website. These include materials, lesson plans and links. Firstly materials. We've included introductory materials, ways to use the new digital instructional medium, strategies and activities and authoring tools for creating comics. In the lesson plan area we show ways that we piloted digital comics in the classroom, including multimedia storytelling. We looked at other ideas and suggestions and other initiatives outside of EduComics. And finally, the links page. This has been broken up into four areas. Comic book creators, comic strip creators, comic viewers and teaching with comics. The Comic Lab application has been made available for you to use. In the next slide you'll see the main interface. The Comic Lab application has all the elements you need to make digital comics easily. You can add and delete frames, add backgrounds from the directory, add characters from the clipart directory and make the characters speak with speech balloons. Now we're going to look at the elements you bring together to create a comic cell. First we take an empty cell and add a background. The background is stretched across the frame and then we add our characters, a boy and a girl. The speech bubbles that we add will be used to relate the story. The beauty of digital comics is that it can be used within many areas in the curriculum. Liberal arts, sciences, or culture and of course they're an ideal medium for cross-curricular activities. There are many examples of digital comics available on the internet. Some are free, some require registration and some you have to pay. Here's just a few examples that we know of. Make Believes Comics, Kidinet, Bubbler, Captain Underpants and Sam and Max. A few more Devolver and Minivid, which are movie machines, Myths and Legends, Picker Kids, and the Zimmer Twins. Thank you for your interest in the Edge of Comics presentation. On our website, there's all the elements you need to make your own digital comics. Once you've made comics, you can send them up to us. We would love to see your work. Thank you again.